CIA, NSA, Ice Shield, Finnish Division, Men in Black, or Cylon Overlords. So drop this tap line, find the nearest payphone, and take notes. Reason number one. She won't call you jihad. No matter how many times you tell her, she can't get it around her head that it doesn't mean you're going to strap dynamite to your balls, walk into Penn Station, and blow yourself so bad your head pops off your shoulders. Truth is, she doesn't actually believe that bullshit, but the name does bother her. So she calls you Joe. You don't complain because everyone calls you Joe, including you. You don't want to admit you're experiencing a black skin, white mask, cultural inferiority complex. So you assume you are also a spy sent to rap on your own self. <laughs> you don't know all the details yet. You're like a character in a Philip K. Dick novel. You have no idea which you is the real you. You're waiting for someone from the impossible mission force to arrive with a secret task delivered in a knick-knack that'll self-destruct in five, four, three, two, one, bam. Because deep down, you really want to rock hot shades and ride fast cars and scale verse Khalifas like Tom Cruise. Jihad means struggle, but you've forgotten that. Reason number two, she likes you. For most people, this is a good thing. For someone like you, it's too good to be true. She's out of your league. You suspect she's dating you because you're three birds and one stone, three more notches on her belts. You're her first Pakistani, her first Dominican, and her first Muslim boyfriend wrapped in one. <laughs> you know that. You know you're her exotic boyfriend. Even that's too good to be true. Before her, you hardly knew how to talk to a girl. You hardly knew how to even look at a girl. And suddenly, in comes Glory Dreher with her freckles and her short, short jeans. She's crazy about you. Once you hadn't seen each other for 24 hours, and when she caught sight of you from across the school corridor, she ran through the crowd and jumped you like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Too good to be true. You're a nerd, not a player. The exotic boy toy thing must be an idea she planted in your head. You know the truth. She's here to keep tabs on you, make sure you don't sneak anthrax to school, or plot a revolution, or pray too many times a day. <laughs> the other girls in your calculus class hit on you too. You suspect they're all in cahoots. Maybe competing agencies. <laughs> Departmental rivalry is the bane of American national security. You know that for sure. I'm gonna skip ahead. Reason number 11. She Googles Muslim dating rules and asks, so if you date me, what am I, a whore? <laughs> this is another attempt to, to, to trigger a reaction. Ignore it. She probably wants you to try an honor killing, after which she'll knock you out cold and violate you in a cell in a shithole like Gitmo or Abu Ghraib. In fact, this is a clear violation of character. She complains to you constantly about red tape at her YMCA job, and always questions the validity of your leftist media sources. Yet somehow, she'll believe the first result Google spits at her. You don't tell her any of this. You say, don't believe everything you read online, and lay your head against the cafeteria table. She rubs your back and asks you what's wrong. Reason number 13. She doesn't think apartheid is that bad. <laughs> you go to the MoMA and there's an exhibit of apartheid era protest art. You find out her African studies class didn't cover apartheid. <laughs> you think this is ridiculous and you tell her so, and she looks away, mumbling quiet apologetics. On other occasions, she's been an apologist for everyone from Christopher Columbus to George Bush II <laughs> to your high school's Western-centric curriculum. She thinks affirmative action is racist, and Othello isn't. She <laughs> probably brings up Othello to fuck with you, see if you go into a breakdown and smother her with a pillow. <laughs> and you don't, because you assume she's just stupid. Of course, no one is actually this stupid. You're the idiot. Clearly, the only possible explanation is that she is the spot. 